Greetings. We have new modules, new Guardian modules. Today I will take a look at Hull Reinforcement, Guardian, regular one and engineered one. To unlock Guardian Hull Reinforcement, you will need one Guardian Module Blueprint segment. Just google which Guardian structure has module blueprint. You will need 21 Guardian Sentinel wreckage component, you will have to kill Guardian Sentinels, 16 Pattern Beta Obelisk data and 16 Pattern Gamma Obelisk data. These are not as rare as Epsilon Obelisk data, but still, you will have to scan obelisks and 12 reinforced mounting plates which you can buy. Hull reinforcements we can buy in 5 classes, from 1 to 5, same with Guardian Hull reinforcements. They have exactly same mass. The biggest difference is that Guardian Hull reinforcement package requires some power from your power plant, as well as they provide you some protection against caustic damage. Every Guardian Hull reinforcement package has Hull reinforcement, 2% thermal resistance and 5% caustic resistance. If we compare them against unmodded HAL reinforcement packages, then Guardian ones are better. In example, 5D has 488 HAL reinforcement versus regular ones 390. 4D Guardian HAL reinforcement 413 versus 4D regular reinforcement package 330. And it doesn't matter which class Guardian HAL reinforcement package you have. Every single one will have 2% thermal resistance and 5% caustic resistance. While regular hull reinforcement packages will lose half percent per class. So class 5 2.5% kinetic thermal and explosive resistance, class 4 2%, class 3 1.5, class 2 1% and class 1 0.5%. And prices are around two times more expensive for Guardian modules. 5D at Jameson's Memorial will set you back for 873,000, 5D regular one almost 400,000. But obviously you will upgrade your regular Hull reinforcement packages, so let's compare class 5D Guardian one versus class 5D heavy duty Hull reinforcement with deep plating. And you can see that Apart from caustic resistance, every single stat for regular engineered one is better. 40% hull reinforcement increase 682 versus 488. 12.1% on kinetic thermal and explosive resistance. When Guardian module has only 2% thermal resistance, zero kinetic and explosive. And only resistance that is better for Guardian module obviously is caustic resistance. 5% on Guardian module, 0 on regular ones. And don't forget about power requirements. You will have to have enough power if you want to use Guardian module. So I would say that Guardian power reinforcement package is meant to be used only if you are fighting Thargoids. So if you are going to mod your power reinforcement packages, you don't need Guardian ones unless you are fighting Thargoids. But if you don't want to mod your regular ones, then Guardian module is better. Fly safe commanders.